G'day all, I want to provide you with an update on the deployments to the New South Wales and the Queensland fires that have seen personnel from CFA, Forest Fire Management Victoria, MFB, SES, Ambulance Victoria and Emergency Management Victoria to support this emergency event. So far, over a thousand people from CFA alone have deployed interstate and these deployments will be ongoing for some time as significant fires continue to burn right across these two states. CFA has stood ready to support our New South Wales and our Queensland colleagues with resources including 11 strike teams drawn from right across Victoria with over 70 vehicles. These trucks are then split into two task forces, each task force having its own mechanical maintenance support and people, their own peer support team, communication technicians, and of course their own communication vehicles, essentially making them fully independent. Additionally, we have two New South Wales strike teams being crewed by CFA volunteers and an incident management team working out of Rockhampton in Queensland. So I want to thank everyone, everyone who has contributed to this enormous effort. It has not gone unrecognised. As it stands, it looks to be another challenging week, with spike days predicted for later this week in both New South Wales and Queensland. We, CFA, currently have 510 people in New South Wales and 14 people in Queensland, with more CFA people being deployed tomorrow in preparation for those spike days. Many people have asked, where can they help those affected by the fires? And we ask that you look to the Salvation Army and the Australian Red Cross, who have relief and recovery funds already set up. With devastating impact of these fires, we need to look to our own fire season and what we can do to be prepared. So once again, I urge people to please make sure our properties are prepared. Make sure your family has a plan and on a daily basis, check your fire danger rating for your area and know your trigger points to leave. That's all from me at the moment. Thank you and for most of all, stay safe.